Hello everyone. Welcome to this class of mechanical vibration. In this class, I have considered a very specific topic which generally has confusion in the mind of students and that is the simple harmonic motion. Hi, this is Ashish Purohit and I want to let you know that I am also available on an academy platform. Thank you. This entire class we are going to discuss that what is simple harmonic motion, how simple harmonic motion is different from periodic motion or how the simple harmonic motion is different from an oscillation. Second, we are going to talk about how we will visualize the simple harmonic motion, how to write the equation of motion for a simple harmonic motion and finally we will see that the simple harmonic motion is basically the motion we observe in the vibration and we will consider two simple examples. One is the pendulum and another one as a simple spring mass system and there we will develop the equation for these two vibratory system. So let's start with a very basic term that is the periodic motion. What do you mean by the periodic motion? In case of periodic motion, we normally consider that any repetitive motion is a periodic motion. So for example, if a body is moving on a circular path, will be considered as a repetitive motion. Suppose a body is rotating or having a circular motion in a circle of radius r. So I will say this is a circular motion. And when a body has such motion, we can define there is a rotation frequency or we also call it a circular frequency of this object that can be defined by the radians per second or we can also define the frequency of rotation time period of rotation so these are the common term we generally observe in the vibration or oscillation so can we say that this motion is considered as oscillation no this is not oscillation this is basically a repetitive motion which comes under the category of periodic motion periodic motion is actually a broader term when we are saying the oscillation oscillations means there is a repetitive motion about a mean position for example a body is having repetitive motion about a mean position for example this body is moving in this way and again coming back to original position then we can say that this is the mean position of this motion and the motion comes under the category of oscillation we can understand this suppose a body is again having a circular motion but instead of having the circular motion we are interested to find the projection of this body in the, on this vertical plane so we will be able to observe that when the body is here its projection will be here as the body will start rotating it will move in this way but its projection will simply move along this line and when the body will complete the complete circle the oscillatory position or i will say that the position of this ball on this projection plane will first move to the topmost position then come down here and again it will go here and finally it will it will reach here so i can say that this is a motion where the body is moving about this mean position another example of this oscillatory motion can be understood by this example where we are having this type of path and the body is moving along this path suppose here also i am interested to find the projection of this object about this vertical plane so on this vertical plane when the ball will start from its initial position it will be here only as the ball will move from here the ball uh, this the projection will come here and again it will go down and again it will go up so ultimately if i will see the position with respect to time of this object i will be able to see that it will be moving in this way So ultimately here also we can conclude that the body is moving about this mean position but when I will compare the motion of this type of path with respect to this type of path I can identify that for the first case the motion will be look like a sine wave because the particle is moving from one position to the extreme position without any disturbance coming back to this position but in case of second path First it is going up then again coming little bit down and then again going up. So both, mo both motions are considered as the oscillatory motion. But when we are saying the simple harmonic motion this first type of motion is considered as a simple harmonic motion. So we can conclude that the simple harmonic motion is nothing but a very special type of oscillation 
and why we need this simple harmonic motion because in the real world many motions can be considered equivalent to the simple harmonic motion and we have a good mathematical model so that we can understand the characteristic of our system now the next thing is if we are having a very simple motion that is simple harmonic motion how we can write the equation for this simple harmonic motion so i hope now you are having a clarity that the periodic motion is a broader term in the periodic motion there are two types of motion can be defined one this is a circular motion which is not actually oscillation because here the object is not passing a mean position again and again it is just a repeating its motion but in case of oscillation the motion is repetitive and it is passing a mean position or it is about a mean position so whenever we are having, we are having a motion about a mean position we will consider it as oscillation especially the simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion is a special type of oscillatory motion where we consider the motion is equivalent to a sine wave or a cosine wave please understand that i just want to convey you that simple harmonic motion can be write by writing the simple sine series or cosine series let's understand it again in a deeper way for again for this purpose i am again considering a circular path where i am starting an object from here and the object is moving in a circular path with a constant angular velocity omega so when the object is at position 1 and i am interested to find its projection on this vertical plane so the object will be here or its projection will be here let's object move to this position after a time period t and cover an angular displacement theta so the projection of the object will come here similarly when the object will reach to the topmost position its projection will also come here when the object will cross the top position and move to the other side the projection will again start moving towards the mean position so yeah i hope that now you are able to visualize that if i am focusing only on the projection of this object the projection is simply moving up and down and every time it is passing this mean position so this is my mean position and if i am interested to write the equation of motion of this object i can write it by just considering this triangle so this is my triangle let's make a right angle triangle here if i am assuming that the radius of this circle is r for a given instant of time let assume that the object has moved upward with a distance of x so now i can write that the x which is a function of time can be written as r and you can see that this angle is theta and theta is simply related to what theta by t is omega or we normally say del theta by del t is omega which is your angular velocity and i can write here that this is equivalent to sin theta or i can say r is equal to sin omega t if you will see this formula you can simply represent this formula with the help of this sin curve where the ball or the projection is starting from this mean position that means at time t is equal to 0 let this is the time and this is the amplitude x so when the time is zero the object was here as the time is passing the object is moving in a sine path in this way so we can say that the position where the object is maximum away from the mean position is nothing but its amplitude please understand amplitude always refer to the maximum displacement in oscillation so we can say that this extreme position or extreme displacement is nothing but the amplitude of displacement of the projection of this object and it can be represented by a sine wave and this would be the formula for this type of motion if i am interested to find the velocity of this object because now i have already landed up on this that the, my object is moving from here to here now i am referring this projection as an object so, so please don't get confused the projection is starting from this mean position and moving to the extreme position do you think that the velocity of the projection will remain constant throughout the path or it is changing if i will differentiate this i will get that x dot is coming what are cos theta 
or if I am writing it as an r uh, sine theta, I can write that that my velocity which can be represented by x dot will be what r omega cos theta or cos omega t. Similarly, hi, this is Ashish Purohit, and I am here to let you know that now I am also available on Unacademy platform. If I will differentiate it again, I will get that minus r omega square sine theta. If I will rearrange the last term, I can write it as minus omega square and this r sine theta is nothing but your first equation that is x. So ultimately, I am having the acceleration is equal to minus omega square x. This is the core of your simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion is a special type of oscillation where the motion can be represented by simple sine or cosine wave and the system having a special relation between the acceleration and the displacement. I'll come back again to this slide but let me finish this that what are the important conditions here. So we are having two condition one condition says that the acceleration is actually proportional to the displacement but what this negative sign indicate here the negative sign is indicating that the acceleration direction is opposite to the displacement so i can say that the direction of acceleration is always towards the mean position please understand this term because we are always going to use the that the restoring force is always direction of the acceleration will be towards the mean position how we can visualize it because if you will see this diagram you will find that the when the ball or the projection is moving from mean position to the extreme position ultimately its velocity is decreasing therefore it will be reaching to a, in the, at a state of rest so we can say that when the ball or the projection was at the mean position its velocity would be maximum again let's understand the ball is moving from here to here and suppose it is continuously rotating about this path. So what will happen to the projection? When the projection will be at the mean position, it is having the maximum velocity. But when it is reaching to the extreme position, its velocity becomes zero. That means the velocity is decreasing or the, ball, the projection is actually experiencing retardation. And that is indicated by this negative sign. So for when we are defining the simple harmonic equation, first condition we call that the acceleration is proportional to the displacement. This is again represented in a different way. It is also represented that the ratio of the acceleration and the displacement is a constant quantity. And for simple harmonic motion, the constant is nothing but the omega square, where omega is what? Omega is the frequency of motion. Please understand, when we are talking about the motion in a circular path, we define this omega as the circular frequency. But when we are talking about the oscillation, we normally call it as angular frequency. Please remember this difference. So here, the ratio of the acceleration and the displacement is a constant and the direction of acceleration is always towards the mean position. So whenever you will find a motion and if you want to map that motion with this equation and you find these two conditions are satisfying there then the motion is equivalent to the simple harmonic motion and that is what we are going to do when we will see the motion of a pendulum or of a simple single mass attached with a spring. So, hi, this is Ashish Purohit and I want to let you know that I am also available on Unacademy platform. If you are liking my content here on my YouTube channel, those content will definitely going to help you. Thank you. So, we can summarize that what is simple harmonic motion? Simple harmonic motion is a special type of oscillation. If I will define it using this circle, so the larger circle is the periodic motion which may be the circular motion or oscillation. Oscillation is one type of periodic motion and simple harmonic motion is a special type of oscillation. So this, this is oscillation. And the last one is your simple harmonic motion, which is a special type and can be defined by this expression x is equal to one constant value x naught sine omega t. It is also defined with the cos term and how we can visualize that Suppose instead of taking the projection on the vertical plane, I am interested to take the po uh, this projection on the horizontal plane and I am making the 
position of this projection on this time versus amplitude here i am making the curve in the vertical axis so the when the ball is here the projection will be here as the ball will move in this position the projection will move in this position when the, it will reach to this a position it will come here so this is my wave if i will again reproduce the same on this curve to visualize or to compare this motion will start from this so what is the difference between two you can visualize now suppose the second motion is defined by term y so i can write that y is what y is r cos theta when the theta is zero the y value is r that means the maximum or we can say amplitude but when theta is 90 degree y will become zero here also you can say that this is if i will define this horizontal axis with respect to theta it will be theta is equal to zero and this will be the pi value and this is the two pi value I am referring this black curve first, so it will be 2 pi. When I am referring the green curve, I can say that this, this point will be same. Unfortunately, my drawing is not that much perfect. So you can you have to assume that this point and this point at the same line and it is having a position that is pi by 2. So when the angle is becoming 90 degree, when the angle is becoming 90 degree, uh, the expression which we are using through the cost term is showing the zero value. So it doesn't matter, both the curves are representing a simple harmonic motion and you are having a choice whether you can define a simple harmonic motion by the sine curve or by the cosine curve. And what is the velocity of this motion that can be written as x naught sine cos omega t and your acceleration is y minus x naught omega square sine omega t. Similarly, if you are representing the motion with the cos curve, you can write that the x naught cos omega t is your displacement. Your y dot will become what? Minus x naught omega sine omega t and y naught double naught will be equal to what? It will be minus x naught omega square cos omega t. So here also you can see that the first term and the last term is having the same relation. Y double dot is nothing but omega square y. So either you are using the cos function or the sine function, the uh, nature or the characteristic of the motion will not going to change. Generally, we prefer this sine term, but both the terms are valid, especially when we are going to talk about the vibration. Every time we just consider that x is equal to x naught sine omega t. Another important thing which we must understand when we are talking about the simple harmonic motion is what? We must understand the phase lag. 